Welcome to Haltech NSP Elite Training Part 17. In this training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at setting up our reluctor style home and trigger sensors and also working with our oscilloscope to figure out things like our arming voltages so we have everything configured correctly in our NSP software. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our VR magnetic style sensors with our Haltech Elite using our NSP software. Now, we need to understand the basics and the fundamentals of a VR magnetic sensor. So before we jump into programming any of our details here in the software for the engine we're gonna be working with, which is a Honda D-Series engine here for this tutorial, it's a uh, factory cam and crank pattern, is a VR magnetic type of signals, and we're gonna learn how we can set everything up based on what we're logging through the oscilloscope and configuring our details. But before we do any of those specifics and really digging into the nitty gritty and the details, let's talk about some of the fundamentals here with a VR magnetic style sensor. So to best illustrate these basic concepts, let's pull up here a nice schematic that'll outline the differences between a Hall effect and a VR magnetic type of sensor. First things first, we know in the last tutorial we talked about our Hall effect sensors. Looking at our schematic here, we're gonna find the Hall effect sensor has three wires. One wire is a power wire, 12 volt or eight volt reference. The other wire is a signal ground wire. And then the third is going to be our signal output. Now, if you notice, the actual output from our sensor is going to be a square tooth pattern or square wave pattern. So it's gonna have that just pulse on and off. And as the engine speed picks up, we'll find that frequency of those pulses will increase. And that's how Haltex can be able to tell the engine speed based on the number of pulses it's outputting. Now that can be either for the home or the trigger, doesn't really matter if, as long as the sensor is a Hall effect sensor, we're expecting a square wave, square tooth type of pattern output. So looking at the sensor, if you're looking at your, let's say cam or crank, your home or trigger sensor, and you don't know what that sensor is, if it's three wire, it's traditionally going to be a Hall effect. Um, you can get into a situation where the VR magnetic sensors can have three wires, but typically those are two wires. But looking at the sensor, if you're unsure, three wire is going to be a Hall effect. Two wire will be a VR magnetic. And that's leading us in now to talk about the VR mag here on the schematic. So what we're finding here is we have two wires going to our sensor. One is a signal positive. The other one is a signal negative. They do have specific positive and negatives for the wiring. So if you're wiring it into your Hall tech, Make sure you're paying attention to wire it into the correct pins on the Haltech. There is a trigger positive and a trigger negative. Same thing with the home. We have a home positive and a home negative. We don't want to invert or flip those. We want to make sure they're wired incorrectly so we can set the edge type correct in the software here. We're going to get into what the edge type represents here in just a little bit. So we can see here that every time the tooth passes over the sensor, it's going to be sending a, a nice sinusoidal wave output from the sensor and specifically it's going to be sending a certain level of voltage output in that sinusoidal wave so meaning we have our peak and our and our bottom of that sinusoidal wave that's going to be a certain amount of voltage associated to that so as the tr the trigger tooth whether it's trigger or home tooth is passing over the sensor and depending on what the engine speed is going to be the faster the engine speed we're going to have more amplitude or a higher voltage output from the sensor and if we have a lower engine speed it'll have a lower voltage output a lower amplitude output for that sinusoidal wave output that we're dealing with here so it's going to be primarily the, the the key differences we need to know between a hall effect and a vr magnetic type of sensor hall effect square tooth increase in engine speed we have increase in frequency or the number of pulses in a given amount of time if we're dealing with a vr magnetic sensor we're going to find that as engine speed increases we're going to have a sinusoidal wave it's going to grow in amplitude when we have amplitude in terms of voltage output when we have the engine speed increase and again looking at looking at the actual wiring two wire is traditionally vr three wire is traditionally hall effect there are some exceptions to this rule i have seen hall effect sensors have actually four wires and i've seen vr magnetic sensors sometimes have three wires in the case of a honda s2000 the older 2000 to 2005s those are a three wire trigger and home sensor and when we look at the wiring, you would suspect that it's a Hall effect, but when you actually check the oscilloscope trace, you see that they're a VR magnetic sensor and they have that sinusoidal type of wave output. So it's just gonna be how the OEM manufacturer has configured the wiring. Um, but just kind of keep that in mind. If you're dealing with a plug and play harness from Haltech, don't worry about this. It's all gonna be set up and configured in the harness. And you'll know in the base map from Haltech, 
it's all going to be assigned to a reluctor or VR magnetic type of sensor. But we want to cover these details, just these fu basic fundamentals, so we know heading into this what we're dealing with. Okay, so now that we've talked about our fundamentals here, let's dig into some specifics with our programming. Now the vehicle I'm using for this tutorial is a 96, 1996 Honda Civic. It's a base model CX, so it's a Civic CX. This has a D16 engine, it's the bottom feeder engine, it's not even a VTEC engine. And this is a great way we can illustrate working with uh, the VR magnetic reluctor, as Haltex is going to be call it, cam and crank signals. Now um, I have a base map from Haltech. So I'm using the OBD1 jumper harness from Haltech, and I'm using the supplied base map. It's actually for a B16 engine, but all of the Honda engines, the B series, D series, H series engine, they're all distributed spark, and all of the distributed spark engines run the same cam and crank pattern. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.